What's Up World. It's Tyson to the TT4 Podcast. Hey, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. You can also go and listen to us wherever you get your podcasting needs from, including Apple Music and Spotify. So go ahead and like, click, subscribe, and get those views up for the latest and greatest in news and information from Jay and myself. So once again, that's at the TT4 Podcast. Think free, live free, and welcome to the podcasting revolution. Yo, 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 what's yo, up, yo. y'all? What's up? What's up, world? Merry Christmas. Merkrima. 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 Merry Christmas, bitches. <laughs> From the 224 podcast, 224. we on this Christmas. 224. This is the Christmas episode, you motherfuckers. Jingle bells, bitches. Jingle bells, motherfuckers. <laughs> Not that I, I ain't got shit. I got one present for my wife. <laughs> no, Look, you didn't. I got one present for my wife and a, 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 a gift that me and my wife had to share from from Tyson over here, from little bro. Other but it's that, a good I ain't gift. get shit. It's a good gift. They grinch me this year, and I mean to grinch everybody. No, I spent didn't. a ton of money this Christmas you, on these got, fucks got a, doing a, a pandemic. You know what? I digress. Merry there Christmas, Merry everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. You know Navidad. I know Hanukkah happy happened Kwanzaa a couple weeks ago. Happy Kwanzaa comes on tomorrow. Happy, yeah. happy Hanukkah. Kwanzaa is it to tomorrow. Uh, right. Happy Kwanzaa. You yeah. know, emoji. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> emoji. <laughs> to the motherland. Yeah. What kind of fam? Kooji Chaku. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I want it. That's my favorite, that's favorite that's motherfucker. My, that's my favorite thing. That's you know my what favorite that? motherfucker. Yeah. So, yeah, we we on it, man. We we be in here. We doing shit. We, 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 uh... We had us. A, we, we opened presents last night. Yeah, and uh, good family environment. I like uh, it. It's very wholesome. Everybody was kids were happy. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, everybody yes, was yes. happy, man. Every, yes, it was a good night. Yes. yes everybody yes. did their thing, man. Uh, you know. So yeah. So so um, considering all things twenty twenty, um, yesterday was a very uh, uh, and today are going to be you know bright spots. That's and right. What is a very loving, very fucked up year? But yeah. we're not talking. We're not going to do none of that. Day. I know y'all be like, yo. Yeah. It's the Christmas. Go hard. We fuck. talking about Santa Claus and ho ho hoes. And y'all, y'all niggas right? be talking well, about politics kind of hoes, but I know you already got his Jay. You already got his fucking steamed about those stimulus checks because you <laughs> everything you said upset. was right, nigga. We're everything you said was on steamed. point. Yeah, I'm fucking. He done ready to go burn some shit. Listen, yeah, you sh- as you should be, as you should be. But December, today, December 26th. Do that. Let's go fucking burn it down. Yeah. But December twenty sixth today. Call your motherfucking uh, right now. This your politicians, shit right here? your state governors, this your, shit right your, here? your state representatives, this shit your, right here? your senators. You call them. But to, this, today, it's Christmas this day. day. It's let's Christmas all chill. Day. Let's have a good time. Let's all relax. I don't even. Let's let's all let's all twenty four hours. Like the Yule log. What is a right, fucking Yule yeah. log in the beginning? I know, right? What the fuck? What the, the hell is log? a Yule log? Twenty four anyway. hours. <laughs> not going to change anything at the moment. Yes. We'll get back on the ass tomorrow. Tomorrow, but today. Okay. But let's, let's talk about today, Christmas. Let's just Jingle talk about bells, hot cocoa, Christmas, crema. And what we're gonna talk candy about canes, is one sugar plum fairy. Our fondest memories of this pagan ass holiday. Yes. And two, yes. What was the gift that eluded you? The gift that you wanted your the entire most? life. I mean, from when you was a little kid to your now. Entire. What's the gift that life. eluded you? The one, the one that you wanted the most, the one that got away, the one that got away. Damn it! Where, where, where is that gift? Where is that? Why can nobody fuck with you and give you give you that gift? The gift that you wanted. That gift. They fucking told you. <laughs> that gift. They said they would get that shit for you. Then he gave that shit to his side bitch, and you know it. They they give or the side chicks. He said he's gonna come over, but he decided to spend the time with his family. Hey, can't blame me for that. Okay. And now you alone on Christmas. That's it. I remember all you wanted for Christmas was 15 minutes. That's all you wanted. All right. Oh, Jesus. And you couldn't <laughs> get 15 minutes. Turn to an episode of Maury. What, is, what do you got going on over there? He what did you, you wrong. He did. You got going he on. He did you wrong. Hey, or maybe I, you just, you know. Got some wacky. You need to stop fucking with uh, married men. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> what we're going to discuss first. Uh-huh. Is our Ching, fondest ding, ding, ding. Christmas memory. Fondest Christmas memory. Yep, and I am uh, a cynical son of a bitch. Okay. I am a masochist. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right, and why and is that? Explain be, why. Because I want to 
feel and relish in the hurt that has happened in my past. Oh, okay. There you so go. I can then not go through that again. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, you okay, I got you. You want to hurt to grow. I got yeah. you. Okay. So, so it's like, it's like basically learning from the mistakes of my past. Uh huh. Uh huh. And it, and to me, it doesn't seem like a bad thing. So that's why I say I'm a masochist because it's okay. like, I almost enjoy the pain. Oh, okay. You know what oh, I mean? hey, hey, look, I hey. enjoy the shit. However you get down. <laughs> so my actual fondest Christmas memory okay. is December 25th, 1998. Mm. This is my fondest Christmas memory. Mm. The second fondest would have been uh, December 25th of 1994. I was going to say. When we got that Super Nintendo. I was going to say. Four year, two years prior, four years prior, excuse yeah. me, would have been that. That, that would have been my fondest. That's actually, memory. my fondest memory. Wait, 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 I'm not going to explain it. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll, I'll let you have that. But December 25th, 1998, is my fondest memory. We had a Christmas tree, lights, and the candy canes and the shit, you know, bulbs and the other decorations and whatnot, star on top of it, all the trimmings of a of, festive of, Christmas. Of, of a festive Christmas. So, uh, as we, uh, you know, sleep in our house with no central heating air, at the time we did have the old, uh, the, the gas burning, um, furnaces, the gas burning. So we, so we yeah. did have heat We yeah. had at this point in time, we had heat. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a cold Christmas. I, no. I, I will, we'll go to, we'll, it wasn't, it wasn't cold. Well, yeah, well, it, it, it wasn't nippy that time. Yeah. But as I, as I, as I come down the stairs, to sleep in your socks surely and set of army boots. Something under that tree that we decorated. Mm. Sure, I mean, I, I know at that at that point I was starting to become aware that there wasn't a lot of money, mm-hmm. right? But you know, something, right? A little something. Yep. To my surprise, to, to everybody's surprise, to everybody's surprise, to everyone's surprise, I look under the tree. Nothing. <laughs> There was nothing. So I'm thinking, oh, shit. Fake pine needles and roaches. Yeah. There were some roaches under the tree. There wasn't no presents, though. You know what I mean? So I, I'm looking. I'm, okay, bet. You know what? The nigga might have just hit him. Let's look around the house. Because he did that before. Yes. That was that was the whimsical uh, treat of some Christmases past. Right. Not this time. He would, serve, he would you know, try to hide things. Hey, it's, it's, might be in here, might be in here, whatever. So we looking around the house. Listen, we looked for an hour. It ain't that much house. <laughs> and you it was four I mean? of us. And it's like we us. broke it down in the quadrants. We was like, yeah. you search here. You search. You, it was you a search full section, on Christmas search, rescue yeah. mission. It you was, search section C two seven dash niner. I will search the 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 homeless quadrant. I will search the roach quadrant. That's it. We I will ask the roaches. We asked the roaches where shit was. They like nigga, we ain't seen shit. Nothing. Listen, as soon as I turn the lights on, we like, all right, yeah, all right, all right. Art Emilio, <laughs> peace out. Why are roaches Spanish? I know. <laughs> racist shit. Anyway, listen, let's keep it. Let's keep it moving. After searching the whole crib for these fucking elusive ass gifts, mm. we started to come to the ghastly, the dire conclusion, the dire realization mm. that that nigga ain't get us nothing. Mm. That there is no gifts. No, there's nothing this Christmas. What you came into Christmas with is what you're leaving Christmas with. Nothing. Nothing. Mm. You get zero. A resounding Zilch. goose egg. It Not a like it was just... goose egg. Ooh. Donut. Mm. Cero. Cero. Cero, cero, cero. Invisible man. Plus cero, cero, cero. Minus the man. Cero. Invisible. There's nothing there. <laughs> Imaginary. Jeez. Rough. Hocus pocus. It's rough. It's like a day damned. It was like the day was like bright and sunny, and then when we finally got no gifts, it got cloudy it, 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 and yeah, gloomy. It, 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 was, it was like it night. turned gray. It, it was it, turning it, into night. It felt like we were cast in the nightmare before Christmas by Tim Burton. And I think that's like Tim Burton yeah. ran our lives for that one day. And I think <laughs> I think that was the first time I had a real bout with depression. Because at that point, all I wanted to do was sleep. That's all I wanted to do was mm. sleep. But the kid inside of me didn't want to sleep. It just wanted to be up, you know what I mean? The teenager inside of me just wanted to be up, and it just fought in my, I just was fucking fought in that depression. Mm -hmm. At this time, do we have any video game systems? 98? 
I, I think we got the Super Nintendo. I think at the time we may have had the Super Nintendo. I don't think we had. We didn't even have a PlayStation. Yeah, we didn't have the PlayStation at the time. No, I don't no think, 64, I don't, not at this time. None of that. Yeah, we didn't have. We didn't get that to like 99, 2000. Yeah. So yeah, so we didn't when the have, uh, when the new generation. Was yeah, when the new generation. Time. Yeah, we <laughs> always we always were a generation. We always a generation until we start getting our own money. We yeah, always then, then, yeah then, we, then we then we was cool with. Uh, but um, but yeah um, so yeah, tried to try to play Super Nintendo for a little bit. Um, but I'm like, man, I don't want to fucking do this. So I get some clothes on and I'm, I'm going outside and I just want to go outside for a little bit. And I think a part of me wanted to go outside because I wanted to like Escape. live. No, I want to live what everybody else was living. Mm. I want a piece of the joy because mm. there was none here. <laughs> there was none. There was none in the crib. Uh huh. Uh huh. I go outside and I got more than I could. I, I, I I bit off more than I could chew. I got I got more than I wanted because I go outside and when I say every kid in the neighbor on, on, in the hood was outside, every nigga in the hood was outside. Everybody and everybody had new shit. Whether it was new clothes, whether it was a fucking new bike mm. or a, a new RC car, or niggas had new skates or a skateboard, whatever the fuck it was, whatever niggas was had. I can't remember all the toys and shit back then, but niggas had them. Uh, we used to know a nigga around the hood uh, named Jamari. And that nigga used to always get, like, the wrestling toys and shit. And back then, the WWE wrestling toys had the little metal nose at the bottom to make him, like, talking shit. Oh, he got the Titan Tron. He yeah. had the fucking whole ring. The Titan Tron. He had, like, 30 yeah. motherfucking wrestlers. He, this exactly. nigga had the whole lineup of fucking WWE Raw. And we're talking about, like, the starting lineup. We're talking about, like, the superstars. Stone Cold, Undertaker. The Rock. He had, Rock. Like, Triple H. Everybody. Man, it was, Triple like, H. Shawn it was impressive. Nigga, he, it was y'all impressive. Y'all niggas want to play, and I'm like, man, fuck this shit, man. This some bullshit. So, go down the street. But my nigga Twan house, you know what I mean? Shout out to Twan, shout out to everybody, you know. Uh, shout out to Weezy, shout out to, uh, shout out to Shawan, shout out to, shout out to everybody in that family, man. Um, we went down there, man. I was like, look, roll up, man. Fuck, yeah, at 13, I was smoking weed. Roll up. Roll up, bro. Roll up. I got a little bit left. Roll up. Roll up. So let's, let's, let's roll up, man. This, this. Man, what's up, bro? Man. We ain't get shit. Y'all niggas ain't get nothing. And at the time, I thought they were poorer than us. Mm. At the time, that I thought true. they were poorer than us. That is true. We at least still had the heat, the you know the the, the you know the gas, uh, yeah, um, uh, the gas uh, fireplaces and shit. Mm-hmm. These niggas was heating their house with the oven. The oven. Mm-hmm. Which we started doing the next year because we, you know, we ain't had no gas. So I ain't mad at them for. I'm just saying, I, I'm just going through the the process of the perception I had at that point in time. <laughs> just, if you ain't never sleep in the kitchen, you ain't you ain't fucking. Yeah, you ain't fucking with the hustle. If you ain't never sleep in the struggle, real. If you, if you if ain't you, never you sleep in the, the kitchen, kitchen, you know the struggle real. The heat was only in the kitchen. You know the struggle <laughs> real. So, um. <laughs> So I, you know, we I thought they were poorer than us, but they had. I mean, Miss Miss Gloria found a whatever motherfucking way she could. And she to did get it. that shit. She did it. You know what I'm saying? She and I don't give a happen. fuck which way it could have been legal or illegal. She but found hey, a way. It, it, baby, I gotta make it. She found a way. I, I listen. I can't ever get the heat in this motherfucker, but I I the because, babies can't wake because, up with no gifts, right? They, because of what it means. That's right. That's right. Of what that means to them. them. Yeah. Them babies cannot wake up without gifts. Hey, mm-hmm. They've accepted the fact that we ain't got no motherfucking gifts. That's right. They accepted the fact that ain't no fucking hot water. Yeah. They, they accepted, accepted the fact shit. that every other three days we eating um, baked beans and tater and, yeah. and, and hot dogs. They Not ate, even hot dogs. They ate teeny Vienna weenies sausage. a lot. Yeah, they ate teeny weenies a lot over there. I noticed that. And listen. that's one of their favorite meals, teeny weenies and rice. I was like, listen. every time we say tonight, they was like, teeny weenies. I was like, again? Hey. Again? Listen. I'm gonna eat it though. It, it, it is. It is what it, <laughs> it is. is. What it is. I was like, yeah. But she, but she figured a way mm-hmm. to make to it put happen. to put gifts under that tree, under that skinny ass little ass tree. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like she figured, she figured out a way. You know what I mean? And, and that's that's really that was really the point of why this is my fondest memory is because that woman found a way 
and this nigga and our father had more money and this nigga couldn't even go to the dollar store to put something in. Mm. The dollar store. Mm. He couldn't go and get anything, like a five dollar little cup, nothing. Even though niggas went like I'm like, why the fuck we getting this shit? At least it would have been something now okay, I look back and I would have been like, you know what? He did that because he didn't have a lot of money. Yeah. And so what he what he was trying to do was show us that at least he cared enough to, to put something under the tree. Yep. This motherfucker didn't do nothing. Said he was going to do a 24-hour or whatever at the end of the day. He probably was lying about that shit. Nigga probably went off tricking. He probably took our Christmas money and went and tricked off with that shit. That's, you, you know, know what, what I mean? And, and you know what? That's probably the 100%. Yeah. And That's so now I'm looking at this Christmas truth. tree. And I, I came back to the crib. I'm, I'm you know, I I, I smoke, and, and the high completely went away like 15 minutes later. Not because it was some 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 Reggie Miller or some shit like that, but because I was so fucking depressed, it didn't work, it didn't do anything. I was just like, man, fuck it. Mm. And I'm I came back in the house. And I'm looking at this Christmas tree. There's nothing under that dome. Nothing. Not a damn. It's an empty tree. Everybody else is in the house eating ice cream and being depressed and it's like I mean we, I go in the room it's dark because it's, it's it's not like a sunny Christmas it's cloudy outside obviously just the whole day is just cloudy the curtains are closed so, the, so, in, so it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and inside the room looks dark mm-hmm. and it's like bro like that's because the life in that building was snatched away <laughs> that's that's why it was because yeah. all of the chakras were blocked that's, in that that's, entire that's house the, that's the that's the year uh, great grandma Ruth. That's a, that's who actually had the house. That's who was is the matriarch of our family. Uh, she passed away in ninety seven. That's why we moved to Savannah in ninety eight. Um, because they tried to keep the house, which my father did a fucking terrible job. In fact, he was one of the main reasons why we lost the goddamn house. Uh, but anyway, I digress. It's another story. But um, but I feel like her spirit left that house that day. Like, she, like her spirit went on vacation. No, she no look look. Just, oh, just Lord. Like, I, no, I can't. I'm not gonna sit back and watch these babies go through it because my grandson is a fucking idiot. You know what I'm saying? Lord. I'm not gonna sit and I gotta go. I can't protect this house anymore. <laughs> can't do it. And left, bro. Just was fucking done. <laughs> she was out. She was like, I'm Especially done. When She's like, you ain't get nothing for these. You all trick. Bye. Can't do it. Can't fucking do it. So her energy was just gone. It. it that's when the shit. From that point on, every single month. It just got progressively worse. Not like a, a precipitous drop every month, but like little. You, you start seeing every month from that point on, it's like little things start going on. So little thing, little thing, little thing, little thing, and then one month, big thing. The gas. Mm. Then little thing, little thing, little thing, little thing, little thing. No more hot water. Little thing, little thing, little thing, little thing, little thing. The fact that I was please, I was little listen, thing, little thing, little thing, yeah, little, thing little thing, little thing, little thing, marooning on me roaches. I, little thing, I, I was thinking like, of that the other day, and it just literally blew my mind that in my childhood there have been years, not just months and months. There have been years where we grew up without hot water. Hot water. Think just. For a second, everybody. Okay, it, like years. Just for and, a second. It was for years, a second. Years and years. Think about going three days, seventy-two, just seventy-two hours without without any hot, hot water. water. Now imagine going years, years three, without hot water. Four years without hot, without or hot cable. water. Or cable. And I, I know cables are, are not a necessity, but can you just right, 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 yeah. Just now we got because we got you know now it's, it's different now because. Shit, we ain't got cable, but we got Netflix, Hulu, yeah, yeah. Uh, Amazon Prime, uh, HBO Max. Um, nigga, I, we got everything in this motherfucker. We don't need cable. Yeah, you know what I mean. But but I'm imagine if means. you didn't have Netflix, yeah, or Hulu, or Hulu, or Amazon Prime, or or or, or the HBO internet, Max. or the in- just don't right, survive right, but, 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 without the internet now, for now, a it, year. Now, now, to be fair. It was different back then to not have the internet because sure. a lot of people still didn't have the internet. So even though the internet was obtainable to the mass consumer uh, population, right? A lot of people still didn't have internet. That's true. So it wasn't like it's not apples to apples in this sense with internet because niggas didn't need internet. You had cable, you were straight. 
you, or, or you can go outside or whatever. And you were still, you didn't really need the internet because the internet was still so, so brand new to, uh, to the general masses. In yeah, America. To, to residential that homes. To, yeah, to, yeah. The, to the residents. You know what I'm saying? To the residential population. Uh, oh. it was still, it was still a new thing. So it's not apples to apples. But what Tyson is trying to say is not not having cable back then was like not having the internet now. Correct. Now you can compare it like let's say you your internet went down today. And you was like, fuck. Yeah. And then what it, it's been twenty four hours since you didn't have nothing. You saw you will start losing your shit. You right? will like man, I can't. That's how it felt. House. That's how it felt to not have cable back then. Yeah. In ninety 96, 97, 98. But that's how I felt to not have cable back then. Mm-hmm. So now we got to figure out, okay, how do we make the day like fun and entertaining and but, shit like that. But that's why our movie acumen is so high. Right. It's because we had several boxes of VHSs. And 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 in well in the later VHS in the nineties, I don't think they say VHSs. Okay, VHSs, VHSs, VHSs. Yeah. Yeah. Like physicists, nigga, sound like physicists. Nigga, sound like a little kindergarten yeah. kid. Yeah. Yeah. I got VHSs in my house. Oh like, yeah, yeah, I watch them. And yeah, then my mom, my mommy cooks me PB and J. Anyway, so VHS tapes. We like seven cardboard box worth of VHS tapes, and then and later on in the nineties, we had started getting DVDs. But that's why our movie acumen was so high because for years we just watched movies, and it was it was movies like. Mississippi Burning, Mississippi Malsa. Yeah. It was movies like I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. St. Elmo's Fire. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, the Boondock Saints. Right. Movies you should not be watching as a kid. Like, uh, you know, like we're watching real R-rated movies. Goodfellas. Yeah, oh, my God. Um, yeah, uh, My Cousin Vinny. Right. All, just all kinds of movies. Just, we're watching all kinds of shit. Crazy just, shit. Just crazy stuff because we had no television. I forget the And we had no parental guidance. So we name, could just pop in whatever movie I forget the name of the movie uh, with uh, Ethan Hawke, uh, River Phoenix. They uh, went into a, they made a spaceship out of the fucking. Oh, the Beyonders. Was it, that's that's what it the Beyonders. Yep, the Beyonders. They wanted to go meet this fucking weird ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I'm saying that to say uh, it's the fondest memory because no matter what other Christmas was dope, you know what I mean? Uh, no matter what Christmas I had with my children, I know that I do this shit now. Because of that day, I don't give a fuck what's happening. I could be three months behind on any bill. Mm-hmm. I could be seven months behind on it. Seven, be a whole year behind. On it. I, they could be like, "We about to kick you the fuck out." So kids will get Christmas when they come out of their room mm-hmm. on Christmas morning, uh, on either Christmas morning or when we just around the house chilling on Christmas Eve, whichever, whenever, however we want to do it. Yeah. It's something other there for them. As something. long as we celebrate this holiday. Something. something. To, to be told. It's going to be something to be told, the, the stockings that I gave the girls, right? It was, I, I, the girl at my job reminded me two days ago, and she was like, you didn't get the girls stockings? I was like, no, I didn't get them stockings. I sent her to the dollar store with like $40. She made them stockings. And the girls love those stockings. Yeah. I sent her, I was like, here, go, go help my nieces. Yeah. And she was like, I got you. I was like, I bet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you know what I'm and saying? They had, and they had full stockings, and I didn't know it was forty. I thought it was more than that, but forty dollars, forty dollars, and that's the point. Two dubs, you couldn't pull two dubs out your pocket. He spent that in gas. He spent yeah. that in the hotel. He yeah. spent that three times over on the hotel room. He said he got for the twenty four hour na shit. That yeah, he no, he, the hotel he got tricking with that whatever bitch he was with. That's 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 real <laughs> shit. That's what that really was. So, um. So yeah, shit. I, I spent too much time on my fine man. That's my fine man. I know niggas like, God damn, that sound like a uh, fuck. That's the finest one. That hey, it is what it is. Struck. Listen, man. I told you I was a masochist. Listen, guys, you have got to be grateful for the life that you live now because you're not where you used to be and you're not where you're going to end up. But you got to be grateful for where you're at. Right for now. sure, you have to be. And if you're not, then shit, come live our life for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Switch roles. You niggas, know what I'm saying? Niggas Switch really roles. do not believe us. Yeah. When we tell them it's, it's, how yeah. we grew up, they don't, they, they can't. It's too, it sounds fantastical. Mm-hmm. It sounds, it sounds like too, like there's no parent that would have put y'all through that. And it's like, well, well, we, we had, had two. two of them. <laughs> I was going to say, we had two. We had two. We had It two. sounds fantastic. It sounds like some shit that somebody would write a script about, make a movie about, like y'all niggas is lying. Like mm-hmm. some shit I can believe, but, but, 
having fleas to a point where niggas had to walk across the street and y'all can't, just can't, sat and y'all just sat in there. Can't make if, it up. If, if other people walking you had, across, you had other, nowhere else right, to go. If other people walking across the street. Why are y'all just sitting in there? Yeah, niggas didn't have a choice. You didn't have so that else shit to do. sound like a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But I promise you, I got scars from the shit now. On my me legs. too. I, I still have the scars it's, on it's my not legs. A, I'm telling you, it's not, not a lot. A joke. Not a joke on that one. So so anyway, that's your fine memory. That's my that's my fine memory. My fine memory is is it's a little bit lighter than than Jay's, <laughs> but it is four years prior. It's the Christmas of 1994. That was a good Christmas. That's a good Christmas, right? So the Christmas of 1994 um, uh, was a magical Christmas for for us um, because we come downstairs Christmas '94 and uh, that we see the clothes on the couches and stuff mm-hmm. like that, right? So my mom and my dad this Christmas, I don't know, you know, whether they had a lick. They came up. They may have saved. I don't know what happened in this Christmas, but this Christmas either. was amazing. So there's clothes draped out on the couch, and obviously there's four of us in the house. There's uh, Jay, there's my other brother, Gerard, there's my sister, Jessica, and there's myself. And there's clothes laid across the couches, and they're laid in these these intricate little ways. And we're like, oh, we got clothes. We get clothes usually, you know, and this is when we were living in Philly. So, you know, everybody got, like, pants, jackets. Right. It's like Tim's on the floor. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's really, really good. Like, okay, we got Christmas clothes. Right. We get to rock out, everything else like that. But then as you start to remove the clothes, there's gifts hidden in between the clothes. You right. know what I'm saying? So uh, there's like, for my brothers and I, there's like Power Ranger toys. Uh, I get the Blue Ranger because everybody thought I was the Blue Ranger. I, I, I was Billy because I was, I was intelligent. But and w- what we really knew was the Green Ranger was my favorite. Okay? So that, nigga, that nigga made that shit seem like everybody else was dumb. No, I didn't say that. Never. Because I was intelligent. No, no. Because <laughs> I was intelligent. I'm I the winner. I can't tell you what the other niggas. <laughs> But I was intelligent. The other motherfuckers <laughs> like, eh. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I'm the winner. I'm the winner. I'm the winner. You saw it. You saw it. <laughs> all right. So we start taking away all these clothes and everything else like that. And then and then so they position this uh, just right. <clears throat> and we're taking away these clothes. My brothers and I, were tearing through these clothes because we now know that there's gifts in between these clothes. We're getting all kind of toys left and right, man. And then uh, lo and behold, underneath all of the toys, Laid a pristine gray box. Nope, that's wrong. You're remembering it wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. You're remembering it wrong. Okay, I'm remembering it wrong. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm remembering it wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm remembering it wrong. Yeah, I'm remembering it wrong. I'm remembering it wrong. All right, so, okay, so, so jump in. Jump in. So, after going through all the clothes and all the toys, we uh-huh. thought it was nothing left. So, so. Oh, yeah, it, I didn't it, almost, that part. it almost happened. Yeah, yeah. It almost happened. Like, it was weird. I, like, the nigga knew. What time we were going to go down there, uh-huh. like what was happening and everything, because Pops calls the house and was like, well, y'all, y'all, y'all start opening the presents. Yeah, we went through the presents, da, 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 da. Um, he's like, y'all ain't find everything. What you mean we ain't find everything? And then he started giving us like little hints on where. Oh, the yeah, that's right. John was. That's right. And that's so, right. That's right. I wasn't on the so, phone. So, so that's so, you know, I was so, a younger in, one. So in Almond, it was like uh, downstairs. On Almond Street, it was a little room that was like the linen closet slash this where the nigga hit, had all his tools and shit. You remember, right? <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So it was weird. Why was it stationed between the living room and the dining room? I, it was I, like a weird room, yeah, like it, in it, the it, middle it, it, it of the like, house. Right. It was a it was a linen closet it had the tiles and shit in there, and it also had all his tools and shit in there. Uh, so what happened was he he had put this box, and it wasn't even a gray box. It was just a, it, it was the Nintendo. In a white box, like he got it, like he it was probably a, a used Super Nintendo. <laughs> what it, and, and back in the day, it used to be a place called Funko Land. Yes, if you if for all the game yes. out there who know, yes. you know, yes, like it's a place called Funko Land, and they used to sell the systems right. Yeah, the, the, the pre the refurbished systems. Yeah, yeah, or the they pre-owned put a, system. They yeah. didn't put them back in like the the box it came no. in. They put up. They put them in this little white box, and they they rubber band the, the, the right. game controllers together. <laughs> Remember right. that rubber band the game so, controllers together. So once, so once we found it, we found it in there. We oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, in the little... We want to make sure, you know... Yeah, well, like I said, I, he, he right, he's, he's correct. He actually is correct, okay? Thank you for the memory, dog. I got you, right? And uh, we, we tore into that box, and... <laughs> it was a glory. That was... And <laughs> it, all, all the other shit was, was dope, but that solidified the Christmas because it, it made... It was so, so it did the exact opposite of what the ninety eight yeah, did. It gave us that so made much us joy. feel like yeah. we were the richest motherfuckers in the hood. 
even though I I now firmly believe that none of that shit, yeah, <clears throat> but and, most of it, if not all of it, didn't come from them. No. I think it was Rhonda. Our cousin. Listen, so we got a cousin I, Rhonda. Nope, don't even put it out there like that. Okay. So we got a cousin Rhonda that had some money, got into some trouble. That's all we're going to keep with that. We ain't trying to indict niggas. So <laughs> I think Rhonda was the one <laughs> That's what happened. that, that you know. <laughs> that that made that That, that probably made that, made that Christmas a lot. Because if you remember, later on, that, you know what, go ahead. In fact, no, no, I remember because it was, it was actually January is when we got the new furniture. No, no, no. That was that happened a little later on when she bought the furniture for uh, Mom Beach. That happened when we was living at Newkirk. Oh yeah, yeah, it was a little later on. So that was the next year, right? So mm. maybe, maybe next year, maybe a couple of months later. No, no, two next years. year, two years after that. Okay, yeah, two years so, after that. So anyway, so we get the Super Nintendo, and we're so ecstatic, right? So we, I mean, we we we, we dive into it, uh, and the first game is Super Mario. Yes. Yep. No, 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 no. But it was Super Mario. First game was uh, uh, Tournament Fighters. Teenage Mutant Ninja Tournament Fighters. Yes. Because, it, because it was turtle, we saw turtle. We did. We saw. We we had. We had three games. We had Mario. Uh huh. <clears throat> we had uh, tournament fighters, and we had Donkey Kong Country. Yep, Donkey Kong Country. I remember Donkey Kong. Country. <clears throat> and Donkey the, Kong Country was was the jam. Yeah. That was the jam back. And in the so day. That, those are, those the four games that the three games that we had. And, and 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 what made it sweeter is I don't know my my brothers and I my, my brothers and I may not agree, but what made it sweeter to us was this. So on Almond Street, I had a friend who lived across the street. His name was Little James. Yep. And he had a dad named Big James. Right. And Big James was this, you know, you know, this black dude. He just he just competed against everybody. He, he had this he had this granny van because he walked with a cane. Right. But he always he tricked this tricked this granny van out. This granny van had like speakers. It had rims. Yeah, that nigga had fifteens and shit. On yeah, it, it was it was he like he was like yeah we you know we he wore these giant gold hair bones. Had necklaces. Dayton's on that shit. Yeah, it was he like he had rings on all the time. I was like damn, he disabled, but he get that money. You know what I'm saying? Getting that check from the government. And, and and his son was equally the same. His son would equally boast on the kind of things he had, the toys he had. The James was, equal, was my age, so you know James was very 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 young. But that's what James didn't get that Christmas. He didn't get a Super Nintendo that Christmas. No, he already had one. Okay, shut up, Jared. Let me live the life. Damn, my fault, okay, bro. Okay, damn but then it, say, well, then give it the yeah. context and say, listen, I was happy because. Because, listen, I was happy because James didn't get it. And finally, we were on the level of James and them because we were <laughs> broke. I felt as if we had lived with little, we had lived the life that little James I guess, and his I, I feel you, my nigga. I, I, that, that we had kept him with the Joneses and yeah. I gave me a little bit of power. Yeah. And he couldn't hold it over my head no goddamn more. And I didn't have to go over there and play games at his house no more. Yeah, I guess that's my thing, But they, yeah, he had it like two years ago. So but anyway, yeah. so, <laughs> so that's what made that Christmas. That was my fondest Christmas memory of the gifts and the toys in which we got. Um, and it was, it was really, 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 really fun. I had a wonderful time. Yeah. And I think I got, I think, um, I think I went and got drunk with Uncle Coley that Christmas too. No, we didn't actually, it wasn't that Christmas. We didn't go see, we didn't even go see my mom. Was it? We didn't go see him that 94 Christmas? We talked to him, but we didn't go see him. Okay. Because again, that year, after chilling at the house all morning and playing a fucking Nintendo playing tournament, I mean, nigga, we fell asleep on the, like, we woke up early. Opened everything, found a Nintendo, played a Nintendo, first season on couch. Woke up, played a Nintendo, first season on couch. Woke up, played a Nintendo again. You true? So, like, do you remember eating that day? Not until we got the, not until we got the, uh, uh, Georgia house. Yeah, it's the eggs. Oh, not we until did. We got the oh, house. God, and Miss Two would, Miss Two, we have a cousin Miss Two who would terrorize me as a kid. I, but that's, that's later on. Not until we got she the would Georgia terrorize house. the shit out. And everybody like, it's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a girl. Okay? But she ain't just no regular girl. That's a street yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, you know, but we all from the we all from the ghetto in Philadelphia, so you know, that's how it is. My sister's the same. Yeah. So, so, uh, so yeah, so we went to George Jet House that afternoon. Yes. And uh, you know, Rhonda was there. Her son Stephen hurt now. At, at Stephen had everything. When I say because again. Rhonda was getting money. I ain't trying to indict you. That's it. That's what Rhonda, that's Rhonda, was, Rhonda, Rhonda had money. From money from the day she was Rhonda born. had okay. money. So, Steven had, Steve had everything, but this motherfucker had I mean, everything. He, when I say, when I say his room and the shoes he had, as a Yo. child could rival any grown, he had every single right, pair. Right now, right now in my closet, I got about. Fifty pairs of sneakers. It was. A, it was. You it know. Was what I mean, not something. Bonkers. Not something like you know, like crazy, but a modest amount of sneakers for. You know, what I'm saying yeah. like he, he's got some rarities in there. There's some rarities. A, in a there. modest yeah. amount of sneakers. Yeah, man. Steve had a 
Yo, Steve had about walls. His uh, walls 100, 150 were covered. pairs of Jordans. Yeah, his walls were covered. It was like, and like oh my God. the 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 Barclays. Yeah, the the, the pip like everything. The like, Pippins, the Barclays, the pants. Everything. When I say he, that nigga had like three. That nigga had no, not, not even. That nigga had like eight or nine different colorways of the Deion Santa Jones. Yeah, like yo, like he, he, when everything. I tell you this nigga had everything. Bro, everything. He, he had the Super Nintendo. When it first came out in 1990, so us getting it now, he's like, "Oh, y'all just got it." Yeah, this nigga had it for like four years by now. He had everything. That nigga had Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. He got that fucking 3DO, the Jaguar 3DO. Yeah, he got. That's what he got for Christmas that year. Yo, he got. He had everything, bro. He had everything, and so we just sitting. We just, Steve come over. He got on his own. He, I mean, he got the fucking fresh starter jacket. I mean. Steve, that nigga stayed I, it, it just, dripping. It was just, it was. That nigga stayed dripping. Whatever so, it is, he had it. So, uh, so we all over there. We that's what that's what we want that year. We, you okay. know, and this was one of the first Christmases that we spent with mom, Duke's side of the family. Mm. You know what I mean? So it was like, uh, so it, it was dope to be over there with them because it was like a change of pace because we'd always had gone to our father's side of the family and spent Christmas with them, but it was it was different because it was like. My father's side of the family, they all from the hood too, but they try to pretend like, a lot of them pretend like, you know, they're better yeah, than their yeah, surroundings, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They, they try to overcome it. Right. But they, but, but they, some of them do it in a, a very negative way as far mm-hmm. as mannerisms and shit like that because they think they're better than oh. a lot of motherfuckers around them when it's like, no, yeah. you're not. In no, fact, you're, you're probably worse than these motherfuckers, exactly. you know what I mean? But. On my mother's side of the family, it's the exact opposite. Oh, they kept and it. To they, to they, to the, and, and some of them to their de- detriment. Yeah. Like, but they kept it. Y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to rise above nothing over here. Yeah, yeah, y'all nope. just want to stay right That's here. Where I'm at level. is comfortable and I'm living. Okay. Uh, okay. This right. is, hey, look, hey, more power to But that, you. that allows for more honest talk. There you go. And real honest do- yeah, dialogue between motherfuckers on that side. Yes. Uh, and I'm not saying it's not any real motherfuckers on my, on, on pop side, because it is. Yeah. But it's it's more to be, just be to keep it a buck. It's more real motherfuckers on my mother's side of the family. Oh yes, because uh, you know how just how they kept it. You know, what I mean, yeah. just how they 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 interacted with each other, and interacted with people in their surroundings. Yeah. So um, so it was like one of the first years where I was like really ingratiated in like old older motherfucker, older male figures like telling me like the game and shit from a different perspective. Like I started learning how to like okay, I just gotta be honest. No matter what, not that I I I practice it all the time, but it's just like that's where the first little zippers are like, just mm-hmm. keep it a whole stack, no matter what the fuck a nigga yeah. think about. Don't care about yeah, what whether, nobody whether, yeah, whether he about like you. you or not. Right, whether a nigga tell like you or you not, feel. tell him how you feel. Period. Yeah. And if a nigga don't like you, then it is what it is. Um. So, so yeah, that that's that's how that's how Christmas at ninety four ended. It ended at George House. Um. Everybody came over to Georgia House is one of my uh, Aunt Rose's daughters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, yeah, we all went over there. Yeah, R.I.P. to R.I.P. to uh, Aunt Rose, R.I.P. to Georgia, mm-hmm. R.I.P. to uh, Gwen. Mm-hmm. Um, R.I.P., y'all. A lot, lot, lot of my, my aunt and my cousins. You know yeah, that, that was, um, but that was a dope Christmas. That was a real dope Christmas. Man. Yeah. And then, guess what? As we came back from Georgia House and went back to the crib. Got back on, got on, back on that motherfucker. Got back on the Yeah, got back on the studio. Yo, that shit was... Yeah, that was Super Nintendo. That was a year, and, and again, it was there was nothing to be upset about. No, nothing. It, it made you forget about the fact that we didn't have any hot water. Yes, because again, because again, they got all this shit, and we didn't have any. It, and it was a kerosene heater. <laughs> it's it it like the, at the why, bottom why, of the steps. Why, 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 why we take up some top of the steps right. when we went to sleep? Why, why you while you're going to the uh, laundry room slash tool shed? Yeah. There was a kerosene heater. Yep. With a giant aluminum yep. vat on top of it. Yeah, that we would. Which, that's By the way, if you pour enough water, I'm, like, how that shit didn't collapse and just blow that's, off the fuck up? That's the, that had to be the strong, that little fucking that kerosene, heater. kerosene heater. That kerosene heater was. All kerosene heater smoked cigarettes when we took yeah. that thing. I was like, oh, break time. Break time. Ooh, God shit, damn. That shit. I've been holding that shit up. Shit, shit out of me, bro. I'm not a kid. That, that, that little kerosene Yo. heater worked like George in the flu game. Still, that I, like, was, sometimes I just. Like, I'll go into a fucking panic attack. Like, how the fuck didn't that shit blow up? I know. I know, like, bro. How didn't it blow I, up listen, on us? Forget how it blew How did we make it? We used to go get the kerosene six blocks away <laughs> by ourselves. Like, my dad would give us, like, $3. He was like, go get some kerosene. Take it, little brother. And we'd all have to bundle up and go walk the 
the same cart we got groceries with and wash clothes yep. with. We would put this kerosene jug in the middle of this and little we cart. Had to go walk the Woodland Avenue. Had, yeah, we had to walk six or seven we had blocks to walk away the Avenue. to a gas station by our. And listen, the oldest of us is like ten. Yeah, like Gerard was at ten at this. Yeah, Gerard was like ten. It like we weren't. It was like and Gerard is what four years my senior, six years my senior, four. So yeah, if Gerard's ten. I'm six. Jared's eight. No, Jared's seven. Not seven. Yeah, so Jared's no, no, seven. No, 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 I'm sorry. No, nah, because me and Gerard. Yeah, you're like, uh, yeah, I was yeah, saying, like, like. Oh, I said seven. Oh, yeah, nigga, no, 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 me and Gerard are a year apart. So, so uh, like, damn there, like, literally, his birthday oh, is July 8th, uh, and mine's the 27th. Is the 27th so. so, so, we're like, wow. Then we had to bring this kerosene back. We had to fill up this kerosene heater, and then you had to press the trap first because don't you got to soak that wick. Yeah. If you don't soak that wick, you're going to flood that house with smoke. So you had to yep. press the button first to lift the trap. Then you had to unscrew it, fill it up to the little gas meter ran all the way to the red, yep. cap it off, drop it, give it about two to three minutes so the wick can soak with, with more kerosene. Then you would open a little trap door and you light the wick. Through and there. there's a little drip pan under the kerosene heater that always had kerosene in it. Yeah, so always. Now, because so, you always miss the tiny yep. hole, the hole was so, so now, like so, so, so now you either got to do one or two things. You got to. Get something to soak the kerosene heat up with, and we didn't have paper towels. I didn't believe in buying paper, paper towels, towels back yeah. then. I didn't know paper towels so existed until I was get, like So you had to get a 14. bunch of toilet paper because you, cause, <laughs> cause you'll get in trouble if you use a rag or a clothes. Or a towel. That's what I'm saying, but you'll, <laughs> you'll get in trouble for using a towel. Yeah, uh, no, no, I said a dial. Or Oh, that's right. So, we had we had a, we had a de- we had a damper Dan doll. I don't know if people uh, if, if anybody our age remembers yeah. a damper Dan a top, damper, a damper Dan, Dan doll. Boy. It was right. like it was the it's like a, it's like it's a cheaper version of a raggedy. raggedy Andy. Yeah, it's like a cheaper version of the raggedy Andy. Right. Yeah, the Andy because yeah. he was the male version of right. the Andy. So yeah. the damper Dan. Yeah. And we we soaked that motherfucker with kerosene because we dropped them and we not dropped them but we dropped, we spilled some kerosene so we used the damper Dan doll to soak, to soak up, up the, the kerosene. kerosene. And that nigga all, and from that point on, smelled like, smelled like kerosene. We called him kerosene. So Dan. we called that nigga kerosene Dan at that point. <laughs> <laughs> so that nigga kerosene Dan after that point. Because he smelled like F, perpetually. For, no, you could try we, to wash him. We have everything. washed him. That nigga perpetually of smelled like kerosene. Smelled like kerosene. Point. It was in the very DNA of that doll. Yeah. It was just. That the, nigga turned to a different animal. That, <laughs> that nigga and was, we would find him random. For some reason, we would lose him for months, and then we'd find him randomly out of this. He'd be like in the basement on a shelf. We'd be like, where did how'd you get here? You know the funny thing though? We never lit that nigga on fire. We never did. Gerard like, wasn't having. I think. It. I think. I think because we had a, a no. It wasn't that Gerard wasn't having it because we could just overpower that nigga. <laughs> it was just. I think it was just a respect yeah. for kerosene Dan. That's I think it. because of what he went through. It's like it's like almost like better like a veteran. You know what I'm saying? Like thank you for your service. <laughs> Like, you went through a lot of shit, you went through some like, shit. Yeah, with us. With, with us, yeah. at least. Like, we appreciate you. We not Damn, you made it, brother. You can, you and can. And I think you be sitting in the corner like, I appreciate that for real. Y'all. Like, I already can't stand the way I smell. <laughs> so, yeah. was, I, for real. That so, was ca- good old kerosene. Good day. old motherfucking kerosene. Good old kerosene day. God damn it. You know, R.I.P. the kerosene day. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. the kerosene day. R.I.P. that kerosene heater. <laughs> yes, man. So, that anyway. shit had us. Man, yo, so that shit kerosene. warmed us and and uh, boiled our water. Yeah, no, it did. Man. It did twelve minutes. You're it right. Yeah, minutes it's it's a little and, bit. Is, and if you ever owned a kerosene heater, kerosene heaters give off this orange glow. The fire does not burn red. Right. It don't burn blue. It 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 burns. You orange. can tell it's a chemical because it, it burns orange. And, and it had this great. It has to have a grate at the top, right, to release the heat yeah. and all that shit like this. Right. Doesn't, so it doesn't, you know. Yeah, but that like, was always covered in soot. Right. It was, but. At night, when everything was dark, it's only a little bit of light in the house. It gave like it gave this glow. Oh, it was and like that this ring. fucking light. Yeah, it was this ring. It like this, and it looked like teeth. Yeah, it, it, it looked like it, something was like sm- like never, smirking at you, yeah, like man, waiting to consume like, your soul. Can't be life. Listen, this man, can't be life. that kerosene again. That kerosene heater warmed us. Yep. It it turned our cold water that's into it. hot water, that's and it. it also tore me. That's it. Fucking. Care. So anyway, yeah, yeah. that's our fondest memories. Yep. A crimma, a crimma, a crimma, a crimma. So now, what's that one gift that eluded you, my nigga? That, that you knew you wanted on Christmas. That you was like, I gotta have it. You never got, it. never got it. That was the, the one, one, the gift. one gift. Yeah, it was one gift. The, the very one gift. And this, let me tell you something. I had can I I began my campaign earlier in the year, far before Christmas came around. Right, right. But but I had campaigned again and again. Like three years in a row. All I wanted was the original 
Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Mega. That's all I want. That's all I wanted. I swear to God. I didn't give a shit if they didn't give me food on Christmas. <laughs> all I wanted was the original Power Ranger Mighty Morphin Megazord. Right. That's all I wanted. It came in five parts. They all broke into individual. And, and, and I campaigned. When I say I campaigned, y'all, back in the D, Tours R Rush used to have coupons. Coupons. And they used to send yeah, to your house. Yeah. They used to have coupons. And they used to send it to your house. Every time mom got the mail, I would lit. And it was, it was that, Fun Coat, and KB Toys. KB Toys. KB Toys. They used to send the, the, the coupons, coupons, to the yeah. house. And I used to take the coupons and I used to show my mom, Mommy, I want this. I, and I, it would just be this. It would just be that. The Mighty Morphin Megazord. That was it. Yep. And back in the G, this was the Megazord when it originally came out was like 60 bucks. Something like that, right? 69. Maybe maybe on a high price side in the 90s, like $70, something like that. And that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. We're talking from the debut of the Power Rangers in 1992 to 1995 or so. That's all I wanted. That's it. That's all I wanted. And I never got it. I'm not saying I'm ungrateful. I was just like, every year I had the hopes of, this is the year that I'm going to get the, the Megazord. Right. This is the year that my brothers and I could put it together. And not to mention, I'd already had, we'd already had Transformers. My brothers and I, they'd already had Transformers before. Right, right, right. So I loved it. That was my thing. It was the Transformers. I was changing on the robots. Mobile and Meech, the, uh, I, was, I was having <laughs> great fun, right? And again, sing the song. I, I, again, great fun doing with the Transformers. But that's what I really wanted. I wanted the original Power Rangers Megazord. And to this very day, as an adult, I have got to tell you, I go online sometimes, and I'm still tempted to buy it. That's to this true. very day, I am still tempted to buy this that that toy. Yeah, because that's that's that thing that you like always wanted that's eluded you. Correct. It's like, yeah. Now you can do it for yourself. It's like I want to be able to enjoy that. In not, some not, not even enjoy that. Just whatever that was. It's like it's almost like filling up a hole. Like you got yeah, holes yeah, in yeah. your life. You know what I mean? And you and that's one of them that you can fill yourself. You don't and and you won't. Hold it against anybody else exactly. because they didn't, feel, they didn't you know give what it mean? to you. Yeah, they didn't do now it you for you. Because you knew, okay, that was some material shit that exactly. they didn't have to do. See, yeah, you know what I mean. So you I elevated about beyond for myself. It. Yeah, let me go do that. Let me fill that hole up now. Now I now that little that that six year old row. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's, it's now a, you know what I'm saying for fulfilled, fulfilled. And, and and all of his life's worth in the future. Yeah, 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 and all his life's worth at that six year old self. Right. You know I, I get it. I yeah. get it. That that makes sense. That um, was that was that was my that was my unicorn, man. I'll that go was get the, it. Shit, I'll yeah, go buy. Yeah. Listen, if I go buy, I'm gonna buy two. And I gotta be honest with you, because I'm gonna play with one of them. Yeah. I'm gonna take it apart and put it back yeah, together. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it in the closet for a collector's item. But I'm gonna play with one. I don't, I don't one. think there's no, it, if it's one that's unopened. Well, it's gotta be the Hasbro. Yeah, it's gotta be the right. the, the Hasbro unopened, original one. You if know, it's one that's unopened, then it's already a collector's item. That's what I'm saying. So to pay a grip. Oh, you gonna pay something for it? But um. What was yours? What was what was your gift? That that one gift that <laughs> nigga put his hand on his head. He having a moment. What was the one gift that got away from you? What was that one gift? Uh, it's real simple. It was a PlayStation. PS One. Mm. PS One. OG. OG. PS One was the a gift that eluded me. First time I wanted it was Christmas of ninety five. Because the summer of uh, 95, we went over to Aunt Barbara's house. And and Jay was, uh, my cousin TJ, he was playing uh, the game. And I, I didn't see, I've never seen that controller before. Like I, saw, I, I, I thought it was playing a Super Nintendo because of the brake controller. But then I looked at how the controller looked. And I was like, that's not a Super Nintendo controller. That's, we got a Super Nintendo. I know what a Super Nintendo controller looked like. Correct. Sega Genesis controller is black. Yeah. It's not a fucking Game Boy, obviously, because nope. you're playing it on TV, Game Boy's in your hand. Yep, yep, it's not yep. a Game Gear. That's black. Uh, it looked so foreign to me when I first saw it. And, and, and yeah. it looked like it was, like, straight out of time. I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. And, and it's made from Japan. Like, I'm, so I'm, I'm just saying, but you know what I mean. Be easy, You know, I mean, I understand, but you know what I'm saying. Um, But, and, they were, and he was playing Bloody Roar. That was man. I he was playing Bloody Roar. Bloody Roar, and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> and they were and they were going in. Yeah, yeah. Big ass. He, I mean, TJ had a big ass bowl constrictor, and uh, TJ TJ always and, uh, dressed. Yeah, TJ dressed as if out of a rap video in the nineties. Right. He, like he had gold chains on. The nigga had the, chains had on. He was always everything. He just but he he just 
And it was in that he was the culture. Shit, and I was just sitting up there like amazed by what the fuck was going on as the weed smoked past my face. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As like, the blunt's being passed yeah, around. Blunt being passed around. I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was yak in the room. It was like, all kind of state. You know what, what the fuck is going on? playing dice in the corner. This, so is, okay. this is Norristown. So it's like a couple, it's like 30, 40 minutes outside of Philly. Yeah. Um, but I just couldn't get my eyes off that fucking game. I'm like, this shit look insane, bro. It's, it's that shit going life. hard as fuck. Yeah. And so from that point on, it was, nigga, I need to fix it. I need to fix it. I need to fix it. My homeboys would like have books and shit. Uh, I, we was going to a school called Ethan Allen in Northeast Philly. Mm-hmm. Um, and the white kids would come to school with the uh, game, Gamer Monthly, yeah. and Nintendo Power Books and all that shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. They would come to, you know, and, it was, and one of them started coming to school with uh, the first edition of the PlayStation magazine. Oh, okay. And I was well, like, Yo, let, me, let me read this shit. Let me read this yeah. shit. I, and I would bring them home. I remember that. I remember, I would, that. Bring yeah, them I remember I would bring them shit to the crib and I would, mm-hmm. I would read them. I would like, let me hold this shit overnight. So I just, I, and, and again, I, it's not a game. Like, let me hold the game overnight. I'm like, let Damn. me hold the, ma- let me hold your magazine Damn, overnight. Man. I was, I, listen, I was getting ready to say the fucking 90s. That because nigga said, let I, me hold your magazine. And I remember he doing that because we used to sit up there and read the stuff. Right. We used I, to go I, through I, it. Because I wanted to see. Like, I wanted to ingratiate myself. That's when I, like, first started to become, like, a real gamer. You know what I mean? That's one of my things, like, uh, if, if, you know, if you know me, I, I know I, I uh, uh, self, self-reflection, self uh, mental health, uh, fitness, technology, and, and, uh, and entrepreneurship. That's my, those are my, like, like some of the like the, one of the some of the big things that that make me who I am, you know what I mean? Like, okay, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, and technology, video games. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. just that's just you know everybody needs that thing to get them, yeah, through it. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. video games, just, it's just gonna be what it is. It is what it is. I'm not like somebody who sits and plays video games all day. Obviously, I'm a fucking entrepreneur, so I try to get this money, uh, and I'm trying to help people. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm trying to build the communities and shit. You know, what I mean, I, I, I want to do more things. I, I want to leave a legacy before I leave this motherfucker. But one of the things that decompresses me as I'm going through the rigors and shit of trying to build a better legacy. That's right. Is video games. It, it is what it is. So mm-hmm. that's, that's what I'm going to do. Everybody needs that. Until the day I die. Because mine, yeah, so mine is the I'm gym. a fucking I gotta work. video game fanatic. And that's what it's going to be until the day I die. So I, so I digress. Yeah, digress a little bit. Just a little so, bit. Not a lot. So, so now I'm, I'm on that shit. So, 95 Christmas wasn't as good as the 94 Christmas, but it was still a decent Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Got clothes, got some, you know, little toys and shit. Some more games. I think at this time, uh, we got, uh, got a couple more, uh, couple more Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games. Um, but no PlayStation and shit. So, I'm like, damn, disappointed. 96 Christmas. That's when I thought we were getting it for real. Cause that's when we moved from yeah. Allman to the Newkirk. Newkirk. And, we and, thought- and Pops had, and Pops had a, a, a very, very decent job mm-hmm. at and a better car called, at this place called Cannon Slime. Shout out to Cannon Slime in Philly. Because he was getting uh, tickets. We was going to the Phillies games. We was going to Eagles games. Like I mean, at, at this point, living our best life. At, at this point, we were still we living in the back hood. Back and forth with yeah. two niggas. We living <laughs> our best life. Hey. It was. It was. It was. It was good. Yeah. It, it, even though we were. Still in the 17th hood. in Newkirk is the fucking is, is the Badlands in Philadelphia. Oh my god! You know what I'm saying? That's what they call that shit. They call that shit the Badlands. Oh, listen, the, 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 and I'm, I'm gonna tell this one story to put this in context. Like guys, you know, uh, we we didn't eat out a lot because we had a really big family. But when we go eat out, we would eat out of these really special places that you know were right. our favorites, like the cheese, uh, not Cheesecake Factory, but the Spaghetti, spaghetti Factory, Spaghetti Warehouse, Spaghetti Warehouse, yeah, the Spaghetti Warehouse, and I don't know if it's called a Spaghetti Warehouse anymore. That's what it, yeah, back it used to be day. called it back in the day, Spaghetti Warehouse, and all this other other these, these really nice places. We thought Sizzlers was like high class for us, but we th- we enjoyed it. We loved it, right? So Garrett was like, "We're living good. We're still in the hood." So it was like one night, Dad was like, "Yeah, you know, let's everybody get dressed. We gonna go to the Spaghetti Warehouse. We go to the Spaghetti Warehouse, and we come back from the Spaghetti Warehouse, and we like, yeah, we had a great time. It was awesome. We like, yeah, you know, one of the rare opportunities where we get to go out and have family dinner, and we pull around the block, and we come around, and the police have sectioned off our block, and we like, man, what happened? And I never forget this. It was a dope boy on the corner who got his head blown off, and the police hadn't even put the sheet on him yet, and we turned the block. My dad was like, I live down this block. And we drove down the block. And my brothers and sisters and I are stuck to the passenger window looking at this dead dude in the middle of the street. And so that was, that's like the, but everybody who's from the hood has had that juxtaposition before where 
you have like this great day. Maybe you go out to like a theme park or something. Yeah, like or you yeah, go like, to Chuck E. Cheese or some shit. You have this great day, then you come back to the hood and realize, you know, it's a a smoker ODing or you know what I'm saying a group of a group of people fighting and somebody got stabbed or some shit. Somebody got shot or whatever. Yeah. So everybody had that juxtaposition, but um. But for sure, I thought 96 Christmas was going to be gonna be it. shit. It was going to be lit because, we, because the nigga had a new job. Uh-huh. Rhonda had bought the furniture. We had brand like, new so furniture. You know, so, you know, niggas had, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was money was there. We were living and, like the and, Huxtables, and, and if for, you and, let us know it. Tell it. For you know what I'm saying? For all intents and purposes, 96 Christmas was dope. It was dope. We got new pairs of Tim's. Everybody. We got this big ass boombox speaker. Oh, that joint was lit. We got a bunch of new clothes. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, we got, we got some more games for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, okay, we got games for the Super Nintendo. Nintendo. Super Nintendo, y'all niggas knew what I wanted. Yeah, like, and it wasn't under there. It wasn't under there. No, it wasn't under there. Ninety seven Christmas was a little skimp because we were about to transition from Philly to yeah, yeah. to uh that to was our last Philadelphia Christmas. Yeah, yeah. So, and that was more of a it was more family right. driven. It was more of a my gift to you is your family. Right. And so it was, it was some things <laughs> yeah. under the tree, but definitely, it definitely wasn't last year. It, it was way less than 96 Christmas. <coughs> way less. It was, can, it can, was, we, can we talk about in 95 when we did the Christmas slash uh, <laughs> Kwanzaa at Barbara's? At no, Dina's? that was 96. That was 96. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. It's 96. 96 yeah. yeah. So we, we go, we go, we so at the 96 Christmas, we go to uh, Barbara House, on Barbara House, and... They have a ten foot Christmas tree, and the only thing you can see is the the star on the, the Christmas star Christmas tree. Yeah, because there was literally li- so it gives that context a little bit before I go back and, and to my gift that eluded me. Um, my little cousin Sharif, Aunt Barbara's son, is not her biological son. She found him. He was abandoned. Uh, just think about if you, if y'all know the movie Losing Isaiah, think about that. That's yeah. how it actually happened. Yeah. He was a real life losing Isaiah. For real. You know for, what I'm for, saying? For real. For and real, for she real. had to go through the courts or whatever, da, 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 but she won custody and that's her son. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's our cousin. Yeah. So that year was the first Christmas he'd had with us. Mm-hmm. And so she went out. She went, she, she overcompensated for the love that he didn't get. Correct. You know, in his life thus far. Mm-hmm. And Lord. I mean, bro, it was that, that year. The hot, the hot toy was the uh, Tickle Me Elmo. Yep. I think he got two of them. Mm-hmm. How that fucking happened, I have no idea, but he had two of them. Tickle Me Elmo. It was, it was it was to the point where they were going to the stores, and it was like, we ain't got none. We're not going to have none. You know what it was? Tickle Me Elmo was the PS5 of 96. Yes. Tickle Me Elmo was the PS5 of 1996. Tickle Me like, Elmo. They were like, we don't the have the Xbox it. Series X and, and the, the PS5, PS5 of, 1996. of 1996. For real. I'm almost positive niggas was scalping Tickle Me oh, Elmo. Oh, my God. Yeah, they were bootleg Tickle Me Elmo's. Tickle Me Elmo's was probably like Tickle Me Elvis. Tickle, yeah, Tickle, tickle Me yeah, El- tickle, Elroy. Yeah, Tickle Me Elroy. <laughs> tickle Me uh, Tickle Me Ernest. <laughs> he came with overalls and a, and a, and a, and a top hat. Tickle that nigga and they say, you know what I mean? <laughs> Tickle me Ernest P. World, stupid ass. Like, like look, it was a bunch. It was a it was, they, listen. Yeah, he had that that Christmas tree. You, and again, it was a big Christmas tree. And we thought and you that couldn't something see, in there was for us. You couldn't see. Surely you couldn't. I there were I gifts for I, someone else I there. I didn't. I, didn't. I knew what time at, at 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 eleven years old. I knew what time it was when it came to Aunt Barbara. I was like, that's not. Just I it's not, surely, especially with with us, because of the hate relationship that her and pops got. This is it's more than sibling rights. They just don't like each other. You know what I mean? They I, I think they hate to be siblings. Like they don't like each other because they're the same person. They really are. They because they're, 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 the, the, they're the same person. That's why they same hate each other. mother, same father. No, <clears throat> like they're the same person. They're the same person. So, Margie Adams had two of the same person. Yeah. So, um. One just had an extra X chromosome. That's it. You know what That's I'm it. saying? That's it. But um, but I mean, it was so much shit on on it, just a ton of stuff. Yeah. So uh, at at, at first when I came, in, I was like, well, maybe my place is under there. Then in an instant, I was like, That's why I'm at Aunt Barbara house. Ain't nothing under that because it's you for me. Oh like, Lord, that, it, that's it, gotta it was be that instant. That is the stiffening and reality. Was, <laughs> and it was that instant. And, and at that point, I didn't. I wasn't even tripping that I didn't get the PlayStation. 
from here, yeah. knowing that it's a fucking ten it's, foot it's, tall. It's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a wall that's ten foot that's ten feet tall. That's nothing but presence. And I was like, I know that's not. I know it's not a deal because of where I'm at. Correct. Yeah, you know the what location. Saying? Like, so I know. So I wasn't tripping off that. I was just tripping off the fact that you bought us. You bought Tim's for us. The Tim's was a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like we had. We already had Tim's. Granted, a little busted. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, little fucked up. You know little I mean? worn. Yeah, little, little, little worn. worn. But, but, but you know what? But you know what? But that's the, that's 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 the that's the Philly yeah, style. Yeah, we, you we, don't, we, we kids. Yeah, you, you know yeah that's the Philly yeah, style. Kids. Yeah. Like. I got a pair of Tim's. Tyson got a pair of Tim's. Yeah. Gerard got a pair of Tim's. That's three hundred dollars. Go get a PlayStation. <laughs> Look at the fucking PlayStation. We will gladly turn these Tim's in. I I, I will. Nigga, I, you I, will back. I put. I, 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 I don't know what I ought to put some duct tape on my Tim's. I I didn't give a fuck. Go get the PlayStation, my nigga. <laughs> Go get the fucking PlayStation. Yeah. So, because again, Tim's are like a hundred. Tim's like a hundred dollars. Yeah. Go yeah. get the PlayStation. Yeah. And that's exactly what I thought. I was like. But you got the boombox, and the boombox was like I look, I looked it up, like years after that. Okay, what was the price of that particular boombox in '96? Mm-hmm. The boombox was 175 dollars. Yeah, it was like look a, at the fucking PlayStation. It was like a JVC 80 watt boombox that had yeah. the detachable side speakers and a CD player on it. It was, it, it was 80 watt. 80 watts would be way too. That's like a light bulb, nigga. What well, you, you know what I meant to say? It was like what was it? What was it, 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 it no, it, no, don't, don't listen to this nigga. It was a boom. The boom, boom box was a it it it, it played it played CD, CDs mm-hmm. had a CD drum on top of it. Yeah, it fucking. I mean, it, it was it had, was a, it had a it light had on fucking, had lights on it. It had, it had the uh, the mixer on it, but the mixer was like stupid though. It was like we I had to, that's how I learned how to like start mixing and you know adjusting like. The, the EQ treble levels. and yeah, the, EQ the EQ levels, levels. and mm-hmm. shit because it had it on. I mean, it, this shit was incredible. It was one hundred and seventy five dollars back then. Go get the fucking PlayStation, man. I okay. I listen to music. We already had something in the room that was like a boombox. It was. It, was, it definitely wasn't that. We threw that shit. The second we got the other boombox, we threw the <laughs> other one away. That's second it. we got that fucking yeah, JVC joint, the it. other shit went in the trash, mm-hmm. trash. It was. <laughs> it was. It was useless at that point. It was just a piece of shit that plugged up and got power to it. That's all it was at that point. So I'm not saying it wasn't a significant upgrade. What I'm saying is that this shit was definitely trash in reference to what we actually wanted. You spent, and, I, and I'm excluding the uh, the clothes and shit. Yeah, because those are necessary. Those, 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 yeah, those are necessary. Those toys or whatever. The Tims and a fucking boombox. You could have got the PlayStation, a second controller, and like three games. Why not do that? Again, he may, you know, they they may have searched. We don't, we, we, we. You're yeah. not, you're not reading the room properly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're not reading the room. Hey, and, and, and you know what? It may have been that they couldn't find one. That's right. I was gonna but say the PlayStation came out a year earlier. So at this point now, the suppliers understand mm-hmm. we need to push more out during Christmas time. So I cannot believe that they could not find one goddamn PlayStation in 1996. Mm. If, if it was 95, I'd have been like, okay, they may not find one, not in America anyway. Yeah. Because of the growing popularity of it and it being a newer, that was like the first year it came out. Yeah. The newer system. Yeah. So it's like any launch system, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be hard to find. But it's a year later. I, I guarantee you, next Christmas, it's going to be a ton of PS5. You're not, if you don't get a PS5 for your kids next Christmas, you just, and, and that's what they want, then you fuck, then not that you fucked up because you may not have the money, but if you had the money, and you knew your kid wanted a PS5 because it's gonna be it's gonna be equally as and, available. Right, and, it's and, be and you don't get, and you don't get it, then that means you you drop the ball on as far as trying to get your kids kids a Christmas gift. You know what I mean? You drop the ball. That's not to say you a fucked up parent. Obviously, no, you don't have to no, do this shit. No, this, we're this, not is just, that, this is just this is just us. Fits, and, yeah, man. you know, yeah, but yeah, you know, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so next year, no one's gonna have the excuse of I can't get a PS5. That's they're going to be, I promise yeah. you. I, I promise you, be I promise you by March. No, no, no. no. Yeah. By March, you'll start seeing them. They're yeah, going to be, be readily available. available you yeah, know they're going to be readily but available. But by next Christmas, I promise you, if you want to get your kid a, a PS5 for Christmas, you're going to have every opportunity to do so. This year, it was just the scalping, the scarce, the oh. scarce uh, quantity. Yeah, yeah. The it pandemic, was just, yeah, it was logistics. Just, it was it just, just was, It's a fucking nightmare. It's a clusterfuck. Yeah, it's. Next year, it's not going to be that. That And that's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. Yeah. From 95 to 96. Trying to get a PS1 nightmare. Yeah. 96, you had every opportunity to get one. You had, yeah, it was a real re- reality of yeah. getting one. Yeah. He had spent all the money. He spent all, he spent more than enough. But again, at that time, PS, PS, the PS1 was 
two ninety nine. Uh, okay. Retail. So it's okay. three hundred dollars. That's your Tim's, my Tim's, garage Tim's, and the plus tax because the Tim's were hundred plus tax. So that was the plus. So if you just trade in all three pairs of Tim's, you get the PlayStation. Now the boombox. That's it. Uh, another controller. But I love my Tim's. I, I, I love my Tim's. I love you, I'm, I'm a free nigga. Yeah, we do I, too. I, I love my Tim's. I got right? three pairs of Tim's in the closet yeah, right now. I love Tim's. Tim's. Yeah. But come on, like be for real. Like I'm a kid too. So at that time, do I want boots or do I want motherfucking? You know what I mean? PlayStation. PlayStation. You're right. I, You're I already right. had Tim's. Huh? I want the PlayStation. I kids, will wear the kids, same. Kids will always pick right. toys over clothes. I will wear the anyway. same like, busted, damn clothes. I will wear the same busted Tim's for the next three years if I get the PlayStation. So, so the PlayStation which should have already been bought with the Tim's that was spent. Mm-hmm. Now you buy the boombox. That's the control. That's the extra controller. Yeah. That's three games. Easy. And yeah. you still, because again, games weren't as expensive. As, as as they are now back then, yeah, so it was it's like thirty dollars. Yeah, it was like thirty dollars. So a brand new yeah, game was like thirty dollars. So a PlayStation, you know what I mean, thirty or forty. Mm-hmm. So you can get two, three games. Let's say let's say forty bucks, three games. That's one hundred twenty. Get another controller. That's another thirty. That's one hundred fifty. You still ain't spending. What's that on a boombox? Come on, man. Be for real. Be for real. Yeah, twenty five left over. Be for real. Be for real. You could have got that shit. So that's what that's what pissed me off. And I, knew, I, I didn't know the math particularly then, mm-hmm. but I knew I was like, all the shit that we got, I mean, and, and then take out the clothes. Like, this is me at 11. Take out the clothes. Take out the little toys and shit. Yeah. I'm just looking at the fucking Tim's and that big ass, gigantic ass, amazing ass, uh, technological Speech. Marvel ass boom box. Mm-hmm. That was enough to get the PlayStation, an extra controller. And a couple games, and I knew that back. I didn't. I didn't know the particular math like I know it now. Yeah. But I, I just looking at this, I was like, I know how much. I, I know going sneaker shopping and shit the all these much, years, yeah. and looking and seeing the J's that we couldn't get, like the, the like the, the retros and shit. At yeah. the time, it wasn't the retros; yeah. they were just coming out. Yeah, like the Elevens and the Tens and the Twelve no, and all shit like that. Definitely couldn't afford it. And, and they like a hundred eighty dollars. And looking over and looking across at the Tims in the in the in the, in the six inches. The, the you know the, the waterproof sixes that everybody know what the fuck we talking yep. about. Yep. You look over and they're 120. So I knew the price. I'm like, if, I I know they're over 100 dollars. Yeah. And you bought three pairs. So how the fuck? <laughs> you bought three pairs and at the time. Maybe maybe yours wasn't as expensive because you still had I, you were I, in the, I had the tiny in the, in the, in the at, kid in the kid time. So maybe yeah. yours was like 60 or 70 bucks. But me and Giraffe, we had grown nigga feet at that point. <laughs> I'm a grown ass so man, I, dog. So I know my Tim's cost 120. I'm a grown I know his Tim's cost 120. Man, dog. You could have taken all of our Tim's and went and got the PlayStation. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I do give that's, a fuck that's about good Tim's. Math there. But that's not good. more than. And that's Be, my, and that's because my point. Because math. And that was like, my it's point. Because math. Because I knew, I knew all of this shit was at least as expensive yeah, yeah. as a PlayStation. And, and we still I didn't, knew and we that. Still didn't get it. You could have got the PlayStation, dog. So again, ninety seven. Yeah. We in a transition. We really we we got something, but it really wasn't. You know what I mean? Ninety eight Christmas. I I'm not gonna talk about that anymore because you already know yep. it wasn't nothing. It was literally nothing. nothing. <laughs> what kind of sick motherfucker would make us put up a Christmas tree and then put? You know, that's ninety nine. <laughs> it was it was something under the Christmas tree, but it was because we didn't do Christmas at our house. He started fucking with Dolores, which is our uh, stepmother, our uh-huh. ex-stepmother now, because she divorced a nigga good on her. But, um, <laughs> so for, for real. That was the first good, good, good on good her job child for, for a divorce. Good That's job for her. Good job for her. She should have did this shit a long, 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 long Lord, time. She should have married a nigga. Oh, Lord. Especially after the, the fucking wedding went. Oh, my should've God. should have never that married that nigga. That's, that's another. That's, yo, oh, my God. That's yeah, that's just, some other shit. Should have never married that nigga. And, again, this is I'm talking about my biological father. She should have never married that nigga. But anyway, so I know 99 Christmas, she was trying to do a lot to to make us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, people, Yeah, because how people show you love, they buy you shit, you know what I mean? So 99 Christmas was, but none none of that. It wasn't until 2000, maybe sometime around February or March, where the nigga was like, hey, guess what I got, y'all? Got a PlayStation for y'all. Yeah, you don't think I stay up on shit? The PlayStation is $100 now. And you got you didn't. And it, it was a hundred dollars, like new, and you didn't get a new one. So I know you spent less than a hundred dollars. And the reason why I know that is because in a couple of months, according to my calendar, the PS2 gonna come out, motherfucker. Yeah. So again, thank you for getting us the system that's you know always on behind. 
We were always one behind. We were always one behind. Always. But me and Gerard put some money together mm. a couple years later. Mm. And we got off. Uh, we, we were like, we're not standing. We're not going to sit a motherfucking system behind. Nope. We're anymore. not, not going to And take we got us a PS2. No, my nigga, we ain't going to One of my it. homeboys, uh, he acquired a PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Um, mm. I, I'm not going to tell you how he acquired it. Mm. But I appreciate him for acquiring it. Fell off the back of a truck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fell off the back of a and truck. And he was like, he's like, man, I got this table for $200. He's like, man, come on, man. 200 man, I'm like, you know. He's like, all right, man, look, look, man, come on, man. Look, all right, give me 170 All right, man, look. So haggling pursued and, uh-huh. and finagling pursued. Uh-huh. And uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. at the end of it, we bought this, me and Drew, I bought this picture for $100. $100, $110, $100, no, 120 Yeah. $120. I, 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 he said, I got 80 I said, I got, I got 40 in my pocket right now. Let's do it. So we bought that shit for one hundred twenty dollars. Glorious. Two controllers, it's all the shit. It's glorious. So at that no. point, so that that glorious. point, we, we didn't have, we didn't have a memory card at first. We went, no, no, no. I, I, I that I so I was going to work. Yeah, I was saying. I worked by the. I, I, I was working at the Goodwill and it's by Savannah Mall. I yep. said, bro, on on lunch, I'm gonna go to Savannah Mall and get another controller and get another memory card. Yeah, because we didn't have one at first. At I first. come back. This nigga Gerard already got more games. I'm like, what the fuck, bro. So he got Zone of the Enders. Uh, fuck. What else did he get? He had something else on there. But I went to, I went, uh, I got Metal Gear Solid mm-hmm. and NBA Street. Yep. Metal Gear Solid 2 yep. and NBA Street. Yeah. I think Gerard had bought, because he had bought, he had bought Jessica again. He had bought Spyro. Did he buy Spyro for Jessica? I don't or know. Did he, or did he buy Crash Bandicoot? I think he bought something. Uh, it, it was, but a couple weeks later, we got Smackdown and shit. And yeah, it was in oh, Japan. It was, so, so, it was, so, it was, so, it was we, so we had our, we had, we now we're caught up. And it's like, yeah. I think it's like, this is 2003. Yeah. We're caught up now. And it was the first gen PS2. It was, it wasn't the PS2 Slim. No, it was, it's the big, it's it was a big, big, big fat, big bulky boy. one that looked like it's several blocks put yeah. together. Yeah. It was a big boy. Mm-hmm. And, um, now we're caught up now. Cause, cause at that point, me and Gerardo are working. So we had our own money. Now we could do that. Now we got to sit and wait around for motherfuckers to do anything for us. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, I, the, the, the PlayStation didn't come until a nigga really didn't want it. A nigga really didn't. And, and, and to be fair, that PlayStation came into our household and it, ha- it, it was, it was on, a, it had an uphill battle already. Cause we was already dejected. It was like niggas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas about to move on from PlayStation and Nintendo 64 and get the PS2. Like, but that fucking PlayStation saved our goddamn lives sure it did. in the summer of 2000. Sure because did. the flea situation, Woo! where it was fleas, just when you would wake up in the morning, you just see fleas crawling on you. Fleas crawling on you. Mm. Mm. To the point that right now it would make your skin crawl, but to, it's not making my skin crawl right now because I lived it. And it's like, it's, it's nothing. Mm. I'll wake up in the morning and, and pull a cover up on there and see the right and see the fleas crawling on that nigga. You know what I mean? So, uh, that having PlayStation, out having, 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 the having first, to shake your book bag out yeah. at the bus stop so that you don't get on the bus. Well, people start, so we ain't, we ain't go to I'm, I'm just saying, but you know what I'm just saying? I'm just saying like, just, was, unless you was in summer school, but we didn't, we didn't have summer no, school. No, we didn't have summer school. So what, what was the book bag shaking? No, no, no. Book, no I'm just, yeah, yeah, you blanking. Don't no, worry about I'm it. Sorry. This nigga, this nigga having, okay. this nigga mind trying to restart right now. That nigga, I, 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 I,
Street Fighter Alpha 3 made me fall in love with Street Fighter, you know what I mean? Because that shit, the balancing of that game was fucking damn near perfect. It might, it still might, that and uh, uh, Third Strike might be the most balanced fucking Street Fighter games I've ever played in my entire life. Mm. Like, Street Fighter Alpha 3 was supremely balanced. Mm. Uh, you know what I mean? Just uh, just all kind of shit, man. Just so, so, so that, so again, it went, so just perspective, it went from, I, I didn't even want, well, what the fuck you bringing that shit in here now to a certain point in my life where I couldn't live without it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't imagine coming to the crib and had, not having yeah, it. Yeah, and you had to jump on it every day. Yeah, you had to jump on you know it every saying? day. So every watching, day. So watching Gerard play, yeah. sit and play Final Fantasy for, for fucking hours. hours. For not, not even hours, days. It was a point one weekend where he woke up on a Saturday morning, started playing Final Fantasy, and I was like, this nigga about to be on it all day. And I just thought, you know what? Just let him have it. And I sat and watched him, and the nigga didn't get off it until Sunday evening. Mm. Like, he would play it. He would play Final Fantasy VII for days. You know what I'm saying? Playing Soul Reaver, Legacy of Kane, Soul I'm Reaver. I'm going to say, just playing. Playing just, Tony just, Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2. Lord like, that mercy. PlayStation. Playing Jedi you know, Power Battles. It was Jedi Jedi, oh, Power the Star Wars Jedi Power Battles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the the, the uh, so Star Wars Episode 1 had a ton, ton of licensed games. Yeah. And most of them were trash. Oh, But it was one that trash. was pretty decent. Yeah. And it was Jedi, it was, it was a Jedi Power Battles. Mm-hmm. And that one was pretty decent. You get to upgrade your character strengths and shit like that. It was yeah. all kind of dope shit. And so... Um, it turned it turned from a gift that eluded me to a gift I didn't even want anymore to a gift that I damn sure appreciated and full, still came, appreciate. It came full circle. And it, it really it did. It did circle. come full circle, it and it was circle. definitely at the end of its lifespan when we got it. But you know what I mean? One man's trash is another man's, man's treasure. treasure. Yes, sir. And so a nigga probably got rid of that shit because he was gearing up to get the PS2. Mm-hmm. But uh, that shit definitely, man, yo. That shit saved our motherfucking life. So that, that was the gift that eluded me. Um, eventually, I got it. And yeah. I didn't even want it when I got it. But now, looking back on it, man, that was, it was, that is probably the most uh, significant system. Okay. The best system was probably the PS2 because me and Javai actually got to got, buy yeah. it. Yeah. And yeah. It, it was the current technology. There was nothing else coming out for years. For years, yeah. And it, we were up to date it, then. We were, we were literally up to date. Up to date then, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We were in the, the dead center of that cycle, of that uh, system's life cycle. Yeah. And it was like, so all the games now, they don't look like slightly upgraded PS1 games. No, they look like PS2 games. games. Yeah. They're totally different. So, every, so, totally so different. that one was the best Packets system. totally different. That yeah, one was the best was system that I ever, you know, that we'd ever gotten as far as my adolescent years. Like from yeah. The, Zero to 18. But the PlayStation 1 was the most significant because it taught me humility. Mm-hmm. Be humble. And that's it. Because it, you you couldn't, you shouldn't have even had this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, he could have, he should have done something else with that money. He should have paid a fucking bill with that money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He should have maybe, food in may, no, he should, maybe he should have gotten an exterminator and, you know, exterminated the flea situation. Mm. Should have done that. No. With that, with that money that he bought with that PlayStation, but he didn't, and you had to go through the flea shit mm. with the PlayStation to show the appreciation with the PlayStation. That's deep. You know what I'm saying? You had That's to go, and the, and the PlayStation was there every step of the motherfucking way through that whole fucked up ass ordeal. Mm. But we didn't have any food in the crib. Where it's a fucking summer in Georgia, and it's a hundred degrees outside, but a hundred and twenty degrees inside. Because again, no central air. No, no AC, none of that shit. How did we do it? Fleas how, to how the point we, where people had to walk across the street. They couldn't it? walk in front of our house because they would it? have fleas all over them. So imagine living in the house. We drinking sugar water. <laughs> how do we? You know what I mean? This is, that, Just that is some, some other shit. shit right there, boy. So that is some yeah. So for so shit. for and that PlayStation was there with us every step of the way. Our fucking Rottweiler dying because of the fleas, and we had to bury our Rottweiler mm-hmm. and. The, to go through the grief of that, guess what we did? No, on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Smackdown. That's you it. You know what I'm saying? Hours and hours of, of wrestling. Resident hours. Evil. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Spyro. Uh, yeah. Crash Bandicoot. You know what I mean? Yep. Metal Gear Solid. Like, we jumping on the games that we got because that's all we got. Mm. And so, that's that's that was the gift that eluded me. Um, that's the gift that, and again, like I said, it came full circle, man. So, uh, I can't really think of anything else that was like elusive. Because yeah, yeah. every, everything else, it was like, I know I'm not going to get it. Or either I, I know I'm going to get it or I'm not going to get it. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, we know. So that's yeah, that's everything. I, that's, yeah. that's that's pretty much so, it for me. Yeah, that's it. So, for me uh, too. so listen, man. If y'all want to tell us about y'all fondest memories, and, do that and tell us about the gift that eluded you, man. Yeah. Go to our motherfucking Twitter, man. Go yeah. to our uh, Facebook, man. Post on there. See, you know, just tell us about your your favorite Christmas memory. Yeah. Um, and the gift that eluded the you, man. The gift that got away. And while you're there, mm-hmm. maybe follow us and like us. Maybe. Maybe just do that. That's maybe right. sit there. Listen, just we're a trying bit. to build. Spread some Christmas this platform. Yeah. So we can um, keep giving y'all this information and this truth, man. You know what I mean? This episode's a little different because we just, we chilling on that. Yeah. But we really want to do this, man. We want to we want to grow the platform so we can be a beacon of light for the people. You know what I mean? So go to Twitter. We're on yep. Twitter. We're on Facebook. Uh, we're on TikTok. Instagram. We're on Instagram. Yep. We got a YouTube channel. Go follow all of our shit on social media. It's at the 224 Podcast. Absolutely. And that is at T-H-E-224 P-O-D-C-A-S-T. We are also long. streaming this these yep. episodes that we make uh-huh. on every platform that you can find a podcast at that's that right. is spotify yep apple where iheart uh-huh tuned in get it podcast at get it Podbean. yeah everywhere that Ow. you can get this motherfucking podcast please you get wherever podcast you at. get your podcasting from we're there yes we are so just go that's it just come follow us man and, just, and, just please and follow join man. the podcast we, we would definitely appreciate that again man we're trying to be beacons of light to the people and with that being said man Enjoy your Christmas, man. Merkrima. Listen, 2020 is almost done. Woo. You know what I'm saying? Woo. This fucked up year is going to be over with. We will get and you. even Reason. though 2021 is not going to start particularly well, because nope. we're still going to be dealing with all the shit that we're dealing with now, it's an opportunity for us to make this shit better. That's right. It's an opportunity for you Take now to start, you've learned. Yep, to start using your brain. If you if you made mistakes this year, <clears throat> if you made mistakes this year, excuse me, and you're not dead, that means you have the opportunity to learn from that mistake. If you do the same mistake in 2021, it's all on you. Yep. Can't blame anything else. Nope. It's your fault. Nope. Not the government, not anybody else. Nope. It's all you. You need to think. It's not illegal yet. I promise you they're trying to make a bill to make it illegal. Yeah. I mean, listen, you see these stimulus checks, right? It's it's bills out. You just, I mean, the Patriot Act, it's bills out here that's, that's going to take away your freedom. And you think, that thinking isn't a freedom, you are fucking wrong. Mm-hmm. Thinking is not illegal yet. yet. So please think. Use That's your right. fucking brain. Mm-hmm. Critical thinking is something that is being lost on us because of how technology is being uh, manufactured and how apps and shit are made and how just how technology is is so is so essential in our lives right now. Mm-hmm. It's taking the thinking out for us. Smartphones. That's right. The smart devices. That's right. Like it's yeah. take, like, like your smart and, and, home. And, and I'm a victim of the shit Smart too. toilets. My yeah. motherfucking house is damn near smart. Like I got the smart, I got the Nest. I know. I got the fucking Hue lighting system. Alexia. Bro, I got Alexia. Do you say Alexia? I said Alexia. Ooh, I, was, I don't know who the fuck Alexia is. One of my agents is named Alexia. Oh, I don't I'm know sorry, who the fuck Alexia is. I don't know who the fuck And they said Alexia. I was like, who the fuck is that bitch? That's the, I that's got the, Google. That's I got, the Brazilian I, I got, Alexia. Yeah, I got Google and, and Alexis. I don't know who the fuck. We got Siri. We got the Google lady. We got Alexis. Google, 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 spend time with my kids and like like more time and make sure that they know critical thinking like outside of the time i already spend with them doing homework you know what i'm saying like just just like me just going through life with them and teaching them things like now i have to because critical thinking back then was in a part of it now mm-hmm. i have to make sure that there's a separate part of the day where we just specifically talk about critical thinking because that is getting lost on us because there is no thought, there is no critical thinking to be had anymore. Correct. Because all of these devices and shit, like, do all the thinking for us. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, use critical thinking, please. If you know how to critically think about things, use it and use it often. Use it well. It's going to help you. 
help you out, my friend. It's going to get you through get you to where shit. You need it's to going be, to make friend. you see through people. Yes. And we are, we are going to need that in 2021. Yeah, I promise you. This place is going to try to fuck us over. Yep. They're already trying to do it now. You know what I mean? They're already trying to do it. The government, they said they're going to, they, they pass this bill, these little paltry ass, uh, disrespectful slaps in the face of $600 or whatever. Now they're like, no, let's, let's amend it and put $2,000 on it. And now Trump, like, I'm going to veto the $600 bill unless y'all give us 200 unless y'all give them $2,000 per check. And it's like, See the political theater again? Yep. Then you know what? We said we weren't going to get in. Nope. Not. It's a We're Christmas done. episode. Yep, Christmas so episode. So, look, again. Merry Christmas. Merry Enjoy Christmas. Enjoy your family, everybody. Think because it's not illegal yet. Uh-huh. I'm still going to say that. Yep. Still, you know, I got to say that. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your time. We love you guys. Yeah. And, and listen, 12 a.m., December 26th, we're back on the air. Oh, but like white on right. For the rest of this day. Uh-huh. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Enjoy your family. <laughs> Mama and Banana. We love y'all. We love you, everyone. This is Jay. We love, we love you, everyone. This is Jay. I'm Tyson. This is the 224 Podcast. <laughs> we love y'all. Merry Christmas. Peace. We out.